thanks for tuning in to beautyblondie.com. I'm Elizabeth and today I will be showing you how to cut up a pineapple. Pineapples are a very tricky fruit when it comes to knowing if they're ripe or not. So one of the tricks that you can do is actually go into the center of the leaves and you pull out and if it comes out nice and easy it means it's ready and ripe. Pineapples also can be very expensive, so we tend to buy a bunch of pineapples when they're on sale for normally 99 cents, maybe $1.19, something that's pretty inexpensive, and we cut them up, we'll either freeze them or dehydrate them. So you can read the rest of the post to find out what we do with our pineapples. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the top of the pineapple. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this little handy dandy pineapple cutter and we're going to line up the center with the center of the pineapple. Make sure it's nice and even because you don't want to go in at an angle. And you start to give it a couple good twists and you just continue down till it comes to an end at the pineapple. Once you can get to the end, you'll know that it's the end because it just keeps turning in a circle and it's not cutting anymore. You go ahead and you pull it out. And it gives you a perfectly cut pineapple every single time. You take the top off, let all the pineapple come down. And as you can see, it leaves the stem in there and it cuts out all of the center part, which is what we eat anyway. And after this, you can go ahead, you can cut as desired as if you want to have half circles or if you want to do little, uh, almost like cubes like you see in the cans, you can do that as well. But it's very simple and easy, especially when you have this little guy here. Without it, it's very hard, very sticky and messy, so it makes it a lot easier. And you can get these probably at any um, home goods store, maybe Bed Bath & Beyond or um, even Target or Walmart probably. So it's very easy and simple to do. Pineapple so good for you and very delicious. So now that you know how to cut it up, I hope you can go ahead and try this for yourself and let me know what you think. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment box below. If you also want to subscribe to my blog and to my channel so you don't miss a thing and you get every post sent right to your email. This is Elizabeth at BeautyBlondie.com. Thanks for watching.